Hello everyone. Today we'll be taking a look at our new Mini RX Beacon and comparing it to the hardware 4.9 version. Right off the bat, unlike the 4.9 version which can both transmit and receive ultrasound, the Mini RX can only receive. This compromise allows us to achieve two distinctive advantages. First of all, the Mini RX Beacon is much smaller than the 4.9 version. This allows it to be more versatile as you can easily use it in all kinds of places. Second, the Mini RX Beacon is more sensitive to ultrasound because it only has one sensor with a wider reception diagram. It also means it's easier to set up and use because here you're only dealing with one sensor instead of five. On top of that, the Mini RX Beacon has DSP filters, which are better than the analog filters in the 4.9 version. This allows the Mini RX Beacon to perform better in noisy environments. Now let's go over some shortcomings of the Mini RX Beacon. As mentioned previously, the Mini RX only receives ultrasound. It also doesn't have an external antenna which limits its radio coverage. In an open space, both of these beacons can reach up to 100 meters. Plus, the 4.9 version can go up to 400 meters with larger antenna. Close spaces like indoors, both of these should reliably give you around 50 to 60 meters. If you need wider radio coverage with a mini RX beacon, we recommend the industrial RX, which will be covered in another video. The Mini-RX Beacon is available in 915 and 868 MHz frequencies. Right now, 433 MHz is not available because of the absence of an external antenna, which would sacrifice the size of the Mini-RX. Furthermore, there is an IP67 version of the Mini-RX. While it will withstand water, we still do not recommend getting it wet. If it does happen, however, remember to dry thoroughly before using it again. Finally, we remind you not to mix up the software packages. Each of the beacon types has a different software package on our website, so be careful and choose the right one. If you have further questions, take a look at our forum, read our manual, and check out other videos on this channel. If you still have further questions, then contact us at info at Thank you for your attention, and see you in the next video.